So, uh, we talked a bit about this, but uh, I want to get back to it a little bit. Um, you were here two and a half years ago, mm -hmm. uh, as we were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, eventually. <laughs> um, and uh, you said something, someone else actually reminded me of you saying this. You said that um, the skills that you need in improv are like the skills you need in love. Absolutely. Um, or some, it was some really, it was one of those things where, where suddenly you're teaching and going, I'm one teaching and you go, oh my God. Um, it's the muscles that you use in improvisation, the same muscles that you use when you're in love, where, you're, where, where you meet someone and suddenly there's a connection that you have. And I'm talking about on stage. Yeah. There's a connection that you have with that person mm -hmm. and suddenly whatever they say matters so tremendously and wherever they're standing matters. And when they touch you, it matters. And when they don't touch you, it matters. And when they don't say what you want them to say, it matters. And when they say what you want to say, it matters, you know? And, and when, when they say something that bothers you, it fucking bothers you. It really bothers you. And when they, you know, and, 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 and you get the ability, but all that is only gonna work if you are vulnerable. You know what I mean? And the people that I love playing with and I love watching, those are the people that are that, that, that are vulnerable, that are really able to open themselves up. Think about the opposite of vulnerable is invulnerable. You know, it's invulnerable. You are invulnerable. You are not able to be vulnerable. And when you are not able to be vulnerable, your ego is in the way. And what's happened in my life is I've suddenly taken on this, I, I read this book called Buddhism Plain and Simple. I was on my way to, um, to teach a workshop in Santa Cruz, and I was at LAX, and I had an epiphany at LAX. Um, I bet it does. <laughs> I had one today when I realized they have Vienna beef sausages, the at, at, and the bun's wrong, at the restaurant yeah. over there. I'm like, God damn it, and I hate it. And that was uh, 12 points <laughs> of uh, Weight Watchers. So uh, I have seven points left over, so I'm gonna have sugar packet for dinner. But anyway, um, I, I have this epiphany, I'm reading this book, uh, and the book was Buddhism Plain and Simple and, and it, by Steve Hagen. And the book made me realize that Steve Hagen has written the best improv book and he has no idea. He's a Buddhist monk. He has no idea that he's written this great book. And it's all about being in the moment, being present in the moment. You can't be ahead of yourself. You can't be behind yourself. You can only be in the moment. And he was the one that I think said, the source of all suffering is non-acceptance. And when you are in a scene and you are not accepting that which it is that you think the scene is supposed to go in a particular direction, you are suffering. And in that moment of suffering, what's happening, and there's also a lot of Eckhart Tolle, I read uh, a, a New Earth, and there's a lot of Eckhart Tolle in my teaching as well, in that why you need to accept what it is that we have in this moment. <clears throat> And that's the only thing that you have. This moment is only can only be filled up with the present time. Does that make sense? This moment, all that we have is this moment. So please accept this moment and come into a scene <coughs> not having an expectation of anything other than I am going to be present to this moment. And it's a practice. And usually when you are in a scene and you are, you are, you are, there, there's a, an imbalance or there's frustration that you have, it's your ego that is in the way. And your ego and your personality, and I think Eckhart Tolle said, um, he, he mentioned personality. And, your, and lately what I've been saying in my classes, your personality is not allowed in my fucking classroom. I don't give a shit about your personality. You know, because if I'm in a scene with you and I need for you to yell at me, and when, you, when you're out of here, you're known as a nice guy, you know, stop bringing your nice guy onto my stage. I don't give a shit about your nice guy. That's why you're an actor who improvises. I'm on a roll, man. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 